All right, open up and stand down or we will shoot. Ha, you're bluffing. You want me? Come and get me. Open fire! Oh my god, that was so dumb. Stupid. This movie is stupid. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Screw this. This is the worst movie I have ever seen. Uh, hey, mate, can you just try to keep it down a little bit? I'm sorry, what did you say to me? Well, it's just, I'm trying to watch the movie and I can't really hear it, so thanks. Thank you. Can you cut it out, please? John, sit down. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, man, sit down. Look, I'm trying to watch a movie here. You gotta be a jerk about it. Cut it out or I'll call through your security. Or, or something. You got something you want to say to me? Look, man, the movie's over, okay? Can we just move past this? No, you embarrassed me. I'm trying to act all tough, I can't let that slide. Look, you want me to call the cops? Because I can make that happen. Oh, what's the matter? She solves all your business for you? Uh, what, what is this? Money? What do you want? No, I just want to know what makes you think you can talk to another man like that. All right, you're being an asshole during the movie, okay? You threw candy at my head, movie's over, we're done. An asshole? Trying to call the cops. Actually, it was theater security, but if you want the cops here, I can make that happen. You're scared, aren't you? I am not. You're so scared that I'm gonna kick your ass in front of your girl. He's got a big mouth. Hey, don't talk to her. Or what? Or I, I will mess you up. John, what the fuck is wrong with you? You don't want his mouth. And welcome back to A Man's World, folks. I'm Chuck Steak, and today I want to discuss the importance of not backing down. In today's coddled society, it's more important than ever that as a man, you don't allow yourself to get pushed around by those who seek to belittle you. When faced with adversity, one must stand their ground and fight, not run away. Fight for what you believe in. Fight for what's right. But more importantly, fight for your dignity. What kind of example do you want to set for the younger generation, for your family and loved ones? One of standing tall, or curling up into a little fetal position and... All right, well, that was a pretty fun night. Yeah. It was, uh, interesting. Yeah, um, um, you have a good night. Oh, yeah, okay, just, I'll call you in the morning. We missed our shot. They're onto us. We're hit. I repeat, we're hit. We're going down. We're going down. We now return to Buckshot. Seems to be the matter, son. You froze out there. You didn't take the shot. I was scared. Oh, I see. Well, everybody gets scared from time to time. But it's what you do with that fear that counts. 
You can either stand up and face it with courage, or you can choose to tuck your tail between your legs and run away like a goddamn bitch. God! You pathetic little cupcake. You make me sick. Come on. Why don't you just run on home to your mom and suck on her tits, <laughs> motherfucker. Go ahead, keep on running. Seriously, go up to bed, pop in a Bette Midler CD, dry your eyes out all night. What do I care? It's not my girl that just saw me run away from a fight. Look, I didn't run away, okay? I was being the bigger man. I didn't want to put her in a dangerous situation if I didn't have to. I was setting an example. Oh yeah, some example. Christ, man, you didn't even duck. You just stood there and took it like some cheap poker. What the? Gross, get out of my head. You need to learn to be a man. Shut up. He's right, son. Dad? Hello, John. What? How is this even possible? It's been so long since I've heard your voice. How, how are you? Not too good, John. I just saw my son let a man sock him in the face and walk away clean. Jeez, Dad. You saw that? Oh yeah. It's unbelievable. I die fighting in some godforsaken country where heads are getting blown off left and right just to see my own kid run away after one lousy hit. Good God. Didn't your mother take you to those weekly karate lessons growing up? Whatever happened to that? Well, she stopped taking me after my second week. It was hurting my joints. Stop taking you? Then what were you two doing all those weekends whenever you left the house? Well, we made it our weekly ice cream trip together, and... What? Well, weekly ice cream trips? Are you fucking kidding me? God, I always told your mother that without learning the basics of self-defense, you would get passed around like a bag of chips. Now look at you. What'd you want me to do? Start fighting this guy in the middle of the street? Putting my girlfriend in danger? Unlike you, I don't condone violence. Get a load of Gandhi over here. Shut up! John, you could say that crap all you want, but we both know you didn't fight because you were scared. You didn't want to lose, so you didn't even play. Get out of my head! All of you! I did the adult thing, and that's the end of it! You didn't, you didn't want, want to, to lose, lose, so you, so didn't, you didn't even, even play. play. Learn to be a man. man. You didn't want to lose, so you didn't even play. Learn to be a man. You didn't want to lose. Learn to be a man. Shut up, you know I have a gag reflex. That's all that is. Watch it. <laughs> As we wrap up here tonight, folks, I want to talk to you about failure. Because 
We all fail, all throughout our lives, and in so many different ways, too. We flunk classes in school, let down those we love the most, we lose faith in ourselves, and we run away from fights. At the movie theater, in front of Rachel. What the? And then run home and cry about it. Hey! Then go beat up some random guy for no reason at all. What is this? But that's okay, John. Because from failure stems redemption. When you fall down, the only thing left to do is get up. Well then, John, there's only one thing left to do. Go, John! Go! Yeah, I'll let him know. Yeah, I can. Rachel. I can do that. Hey, can I can I call you back? Hey, Rachel. No, I just give me one second. Okay, I'll call you back. Surprise! John, what the hell are you doing here? It's late. Well, I ran into our little friend from the theater here, and he has something he'd like to say to you. <sighs> I'm sorry for disturbing your movie. And? And I'm sorry for punching your boyfriend in his face. Okay. John, what the fuck is this? Did you mug him or something? Mug him? No. I just gave him a taste of his own medicine is all. By kidnapping him? John, are you insane? Look, he, he hit me first. So what? That doesn't make it okay. None of this is okay. Alright, I'm a little bit confused. Jesus Christ. Christ, John, let him go before his family finds out he's fucking missing and calls the cops. Hey, this guy assaulted me, put you in danger. Are you serious? Look at you. This is embarrassing. What happened to your lip? Uh, oh, uh, funny story about that, actually. There was this other guy and- Hey, asshole! Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, boy. I've been looking for you all night. This guy assaulted me. He almost beat me half to death for bumping into him. Wait, what? Okay, that's not entirely accurate. I could barely walk home. My girl thought I got attacked by some animal. Nice. Sir, can you please calm down? I have neighbors. No, this guy made me look like a pussy who can't defend himself, like some dumb chick. Excuse me? Hey, you're lucky I don't press charges, asshole, because I'm going to take care of you myself. What the frick? Frank, knock it off right now! Enough! Just let it go! You stay out of this! My fucking nose! Hey man, you alright? Get the fuck away from me! Come on, son. Fight. Make it right, John. Be a man, take the shot.